Hi, I'm David with Noria. We're on a mission to make the world better through lubrication excellence. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about why you shouldn't force grease into a blocked grease line. There's two things to think about when it comes to forcing grease into a blocked grease line. First and foremost is your safety, and second is contamination risks. Now, as you start to add grease to a blocked grease line, you'll notice the pressure starts to build and it becomes harder and harder to squeeze that handle, and possibly your coupler is actually stuck to the fitting now. You've built up 5,000 pounds of pressure on a hose that's rated for 1,500 pounds. At this pressure, the hose could burst and cause what's known as the high pressure injection injury through the skin and into the underlying tissue. Most high pressure injection injuries need to seek medical assistance immediately. Now the second thing to think about when re-greasing a blocked grease line is the contamination risk. When a grease line is not lubricated for an extended amount of time, the base oil gets consumed and separates out. What's left is this thickener. Now as this thickener starts to heat up and dry out, it becomes really, really hard and blocks that grease line. Now, as you start to re-grease that blocked grease line, not knowing that it's blocked, you build up enough pressure to blow all those hard chunks directly down that line and into your moving equipment. Remember to always wear your proper PPE and inspect equipment before its use. For any questions or lubrication needs, please contact us at noria.com. Thanks for listening and have a great day.